Alrighty, everyone. Today is aeration day. The goal is to get more oxygen, nutrients, water down to the roots easier and faster. Rented an aerator, and just in case you're curious about the cost, I rented it on a Friday. I have to take it back on Monday morning, but it was like $102.50 or something like that. So um, it was an 18 inch aerator from Sunbelt Rentals. So there you go. And gonna fill all those little holes that we're punching with sand. So got a lot of work to do. Let's get started. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But first, got to mow. Got to cut it all down to half an inch, make it nice and short, make it easier to run the aerator. I want to show you guys this the old toro 1000 here the old girl's doing pretty good she's cutting as good as she ever has but my yard is just not perfectly level so if you see little spots like this and like this one and over here just kind of uneven cutting that stripe right there basically just because my yard's not level so that's the goal i'm going to aerate and then sand top dress level it so that i can get a nice smooth cut and then right after mowing every time it's going to look perfect because as it is right now i mow it and it looks kind of like this and then a couple days later it grows up and everything's green it looks great but I just want it to look nice and fresh every time right after I mow it and be perfectly flat. That's the goal. All right, let's aerate. So you've got this water tank on the front. You fill it up right here just to add a little bit of extra weight because this thing actually isn't even touching the ground when you're using it. You're supposed to lift it up just so that that extra weight pushes down on the tines to make as deep of core as possible. Um, that's just gonna help it punch down a little bit farther if you add some more weight. I still kind of wish it was heavier. You see these videos of these, you know, golf courses using these massive aerators and those huge tines are going straight down into there like six inches or something. And it's awesome. That's what I need. Um, obviously don't have any access to something like that. So here we go. 18 inch. So now we're going to rake up all these cores that we've got sitting on the lawn, get those out of the way. So when we put down sand, it'll be nice and smooth. We can rake it all the way across. I enlisted some help because left tool again is nowhere to be seen. He says, oh yeah, I'll be there in just a little bit. And I'm like, eh, whatever. So got the real big guns in here, right here. What's up guys? Here, oh my goodness! Ooh, pick up some, pick some of these up with that, Nick. What? Pick up the things, pick up the cores with that. See how many you can pick up. You think you can pick up all the rest of them? Yeah, get them, Nick. Go for it. I'll bet you can't. I'll bet you can't pick up the rest of the the rest of the lawn like that. I'll bet you can't do it. I bet you can't whitewash this fence either. Hey. Hey, wait, Nick, have you ever heard of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn? No. Good. Okay, so we're about done picking up all the cores off of the front yard, but the theory is that these little things, I feel like it's deceiving. When you see videos, people hold up like the biggest core and they're like, oh, these things are two inches or three inches deep. All of mine are like an inch. Some of them might be two inches. I don't know though. They're not that deep. They're not that big. And when this stuff is dry, like right now it's pretty dry and it breaks up super easy into nothing. This is actually just going to be good soil. Whew, I am done. Let's talk about aeration a little bit though. I rented that aerator, it cost about a hundred bucks to rent it and I have it for the weekend. Um, although I only used it a day anyway, I'm here at her all day on Sunday. I aerated the front, 
And then I also aerated the side yard. Um, I have not picked up the cores. They're still sitting here right now. And I still have not decided what I want to do with those yet. Um, I also aerated the backyard. That aerator is uh, it's some work. So heads up on that. If you're thinking about renting one of these and doing it yourself, if you can um, price check, I'm kind of, I'm really curious now how much it costs to get, you know, a pro to come out and aerate it for you. If it's anywhere close to $102.50, done deal. Um, yeah, I'll pay that easily. I mean, I my yard is like 16,000 square feet, so it, uh, it took some time. I was out here for a while. So, the backyard and the side yard i don't really know what my plan is for that yet i don't want to scoop all these things up i'm really thinking i'm just going to take my rotary mower and run over them and just grind them up into a pulp and then water it down into the grass just i don't know we'll see i i, I just don't have my sand for the backyard i'm going to get sand for the backyard and the side yard i just don't have it yet um so i'm not ready to top dress it because that would be ideal is to aerate and then top dress right after and get the sand down into the holes I just don't have all the pieces put together in the right timeline. Uh, rain has been kind of an issue, we've been working around that, just basically getting whatever we can done when we can get it done. And today I was able to get enough sand for the front yard um, and aerate everything. I went ahead and aerated because I had the aerator, obviously. So anyway, I'm still kind of formulating a plan in my head. I'm just beat, I can't really think right now. I'm, I'm tired, like, that is work for sure. Um, Turning the thing around is like brutal. Every single time you go to turn around, my shoulders are still burning, like pushing up on the thing just to get the weight up onto that drum in the front. Um, just wears on you. The pu I mean, pushing it around, you still you do have to hold it down, but that's not that big of a deal. You're just walking behind it, but turning it around all the time, it, uh, it wears on you for sure. So anyway, aerating, will I do it again? I guess it depends on how much it costs to get somebody else to come out and do it next time. Um, you know, if, if it's not that much more expensive, I will pay somebody to do it, but I'm not I'm not above hard work. I mean, I'll obviously put in the work and lay my own saw, do what I need to do, um, but it was it was tough. So just a word of warning to you, if you're wanting to take this um, job upon yourself, then be ready for it. Hydrate, it's, I've been sweating like crazy. You cool season guys have an advantage because you'll be doing this kind of stuff in the spring or in the fall when it's not quite as hot. But uh, prime growing season for me, here in the summer so getting it done anyway thanks for watching guys if you haven't already make sure to subscribe coming out with some more great content here pretty soon should be a lot of fun my sand leveling project for the back and the side yard is going to be coming up so that's going to be fun i'm thinking i'm going to do that after i dig a french drain around the entire yard though because then i want to be able to level some of that too after we dig um that's the plan like i said it doesn't always go according to plan just whenever the rain will allow so anyway um thanks again guys have a good one all right, picked up all the cores. You know what that means.